Hi everyone. Nice to see you again. In this video, I'll be showing you another illustration art style. And this one is much easier than the previous one. As always, I'll be drawing in vector mode. Okay. I'll be using an image from Pexels as a reference. But just to be clear, I'm not going for an exact copy. It's just a reference guide. First, download an image from Pexels. Lower its opacity to a level where it's still visible. And then add a new vector layer below the reference layer. That's the one we'll be working on. Now, grab the pencil tool, enable sculpt, fill color, and auto close, and start with the face. Make sure to plan your layers carefully. Deciding which layer should be on top of which will save you a lot of time. While drawing, if you're unsure whether your lines match the reference, try using strokes line first, and then switch the stroke color to a fill color later. You don't need to follow the reference exactly, just make it look good in your style. If your drawing contains stroke lines and you need to send the file to someone who doesn't use Affinity Designer, don't forget to expand the strokes before sending it. For this type of drawing, it's a good idea to prepare a color palette in advance. Since the reference image is on top, it might affect how you perceive colors. The colors you originally chose might not look the same later, so you'd have to go back and fix them. If you don't want to waste time, plan ahead. But even if you don't, it's not a big deal. Fixing colors in vector mode is easy. I mention this often especially for those watching my videos for the first time. Just keep drawing until you're done.
Okay. Once the color main areas are finished, add some shadows and details. Select the area you want, like the face. Then tap the three dot icon in the context toolbar above. Set the insertion targets to inside. Draw the shadows as needed. This time, I won't use multiply in the blend mode like before. Instead, I'll just use the same color and make it darker. That way, I won't have to tweak the colors again later. Keep repeating the same process until everything is done. Since this is a flat 2D style, keep the details minimal, use simple shapes, and pay attention to color tones. This style doesn't have to be realistic. Sometimes, a bit of visual trickery makes the artwork more interesting. You don't have to make both sides perfectly symmetrical, but sticking to good drawing fundamentals will help you get the best results. I'm not telling you to break the rules of drawing to the point that it makes your work look bad. Just use a few tricks to make it better. But the best approach is to learn the basics of drawing. Alright. That's all for this video. I didn't go into too much detail, but hopefully, watching my process gives you some ideas to apply to your own work. You can always re-watch my previous videos or check out other YouTube tutorials to learn more about the tools. I always say that Affinity Designer works like other programs, but it might have fewer tools to speed things up. Even so, you can still get great results. This app wasn't originally made for drawing, but we can adapt its tools for illustration. And, like I always say, it saves a lot of money. Okay. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.